Hello and welcome to another video in the Myriad Anywhere series. Today we're going to look at how easy it is to present a full live show by remote using Myriad Anywhere and the BR Live integration. So the first thing to do is open up your favorite browser. Today I'm going to be using Edge, but you can use Edge, uh, Chrome or Firefox on either PC or Mac or even a Linux PC if you wanted. Next, type in the URL for your station. I'm going to be taking control of Hot FM today. Now you can either go straight to the Hot FM Anywhere page or you can use the slash playout or slash studio extension to go straight to the remote control section. Next, you have to put in your username and password. If it's a PC that you use at home or your own laptop, of course, you can ask it to remember that for next time. Hit connect. If your station is running multiple stations, then you can choose the correct station or log that you want to work with. Today, we're going to be working with Hot Extra. So here you can see that uh, we can see the um, that, uh, MO, the final song is playing, and next up is uh, Rockabye. Um, and we can also see we've got favorites here, and we can go to the library, and we can go to the media wall. But we're not really in control yet, so we're going to do a couple of things. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take live control, so we're going to switch the player mode to live. And I'm going to talk at the end of this song, so I'm just going to put a uh, red square on the end of this one, just like you would in the studio. Uh, next thing I need to do is actually connect up the audio. So to do that, just click on the connect to audio button. You're asked what media devices you want to connect with. This may be your headset, or in this case, I've got a roadcaster, so I'm going to use that for both the input and output. It's all right, it's all right. Don't let this be our final song. Okay, so you could hear the end of the song there. Now, normally I would have gone live at that point to do my voice link. Um, at the moment, the station has dead air, of course. So what I would do is I make sure I'm on the live channel and I click the mic on button. Oh, that was uh, Final Song by MO. And next up, we've got Rockabye. Uh, you're listening to Liam on Hot FM. And I'm going to play a favorite. Radio 24-7. This is Hot, Hot FM. FM. And press go. Also remember to turn your microphone off. I'm just going to turn down the volume here so that you can hear me. Um, so you have full control here, so you can use the favorites. You can still edit the log, so you can make changes in the log. You can go onto your library tab and you can uh, select a song. Uh, you can even see whether or not that song is suitable to play. So you can see this one here um, shouldn't be played because it's uh, breaking a previous and next day rule. Uh, but if I did, if I was happy to play it anyway, I could just pick it up and uh, drag it in that way. Uh, we can also browse our media wall in here. Um, we can actually drag items directly into the players and play them and they will play out live on air. Obviously, you probably won't be doing that, but you could do if you wanted to. Uh, from inside of here, you can also edit the metadata for items and you can even export items or if you go to an empty media item, you can actually um, import content from your local system. But essentially, that's everything you need to be able to run your show. Um, you can even invite a guest if you wanted to. Um, if I bring across the BR Live panel here, uh, we don't need this in most circumstances because we have the uh, mic on off button and we can choose the, the channels here. But we can um, control our volume on our microphone a little bit more finely here. Uh, and if we had a co-presenter, their microphone would also be displayed here so that you could uh, control their volume and turn their mic on and off if you so desired. Um, if you need to control the volume of the, um, of the monitoring, you can do that here. Um, obviously, in the moment, I'm running through a, a mixer, so I was able to pull the fader down on the monitoring. But if you don't have a mixer, you've just got a headset, then you can still use these to control the volume for the monitoring, for the talkback volume, and also for your microphone. And that's pretty much everything you need to run a live radio show remotely. So if you have Myriad Anywhere Pro at your station, 
then uh, you are able to take live control as long as you have the appropriate user access rights to do so. And that's about it for this video. Make sure to check our YouTube channel for more videos and our website for more information on Myriad Anywhere, BR Live and Myriad Playout. Thanks for watching.